What is up y'all? Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you all are doing great. You're having an amazing day. You're in a great mood today. Guys, today we are not here with a normal vlog as you guys must have seen. It's a very video. serious vlog. It's a very serious, it's a very educational vlog. I mean, not educational, but yeah, you guys are definitely gonna get something out of this video. So let me give you guys a backstory of how we ended up here. First of all, the reason why Yash came to Dubai, bro. So he's doing mass media back in Mumbai, right? So he has this project where he has to make a one minute video about a certain place so he chose Dubai and he took all the shots and today he called me he's like bro today he needs to edit this project and submit it in the next two days so that's basically what we did today so I thought why not you know take this opportunity help you guys out if there are any of you who don't know editing the basics to editing is what I'm gonna be talking about in this video Yash can you tell them that I taught you everything and I'm, I'm a good teacher and shit so this guy's been vlogging for so long so there's no one has in contact so I asked him to help me out and you guys can see that right yes. now I'm not Paying me for saying all the shit. Oh, yeah. say all he's that. not paying me for anything. <laughs> yeah. but, he's, but he's getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> cheeky, cheeky, there, yeah? cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> without wasting any more time let's get straight into the video editing is basically what is it it's post-production right the first thing you got to do is obviously shoot your videos so the first thing that matters is where you actually shoot your videos so normally iphone xr is pretty good for shooting and you can you guys can go to the settings and put it on uh, 4k and 60 fps exactly so the video is really smooth so in iphone obviously it has the 4k option or if you normally shoot it you can do it in 1080 too like suppose for vlogs 1080 is more than enough once you have all your footage is basically when you start editing and by the end of this video i want you all to be able to edit a video by yourself guys if you have shot it on a camera or any sort of dslr or whatever you can just take out the memory card put it inside transfer all the videos but in today's case yeah so it's very easy if you have a mac so you can air up the videos in like seconds or exactly one max. yeah if you're into videography and editing and all that stuff i personally feel mac is one of the best machines to use for this purpose so anyway that's the application we're going to be talking about today it's iMovie it's one of the most basic basic applications to actually edit your movie or edit your video so talking about iMovie we can actually have it on the iPhone which is pretty easy to use in fact guys when I started vlogging I used to do everything on my iPhone 6 like you know shooting editing everything on my iPhone 6. it didn't give me any problems but right now I've got the Mac so obviously it has more features even in the iMovie application. So guys, basically when you open up the app or the software, just uh, first you got to import everything. Like we'll go to a new project and then import every media from your iPhone to whatever device you're using. So guys, now that you've got all your videos, whatever you need in your project, your new project which you've opened, the next thing you're going to do is the music you need, right? Guys, just just keep two, three songs in your mind so it, 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 can, it can help you according to the shots you have taken. Exactly. So this guy, when he came today, he had a good two, three songs. The one we actually finalized was Troy Boy Do You, which is pretty lit. As you guys can see on the screen, this application is very simple. It's all drag and drop. So on the left side, you actually see your project, which project you're on. You see all your libraries. If you have had previous projects, you can add in videos from that too, or images, or text, or whatever it is you've added before. You can just drag and drop the same thing over here too. So it's a very simple application. I'm just going to teach you guys how to use it. It's basically whatever you have imported is over here on the top, and anything from here, if you want to put it down into your workspace, all you have to do is just click, click on it, drag it, and put it down into your workspace. May it be music, may it be a video, may it be a picture, may it be a text, anything. All you have to do is click drag and drop it down now we're just going to talk about the few basic features of this app which this application can actually help you do so obviously the first thing is transitions we have it here on the top there are a few default transitions which are already available even for the transitions it's the same way you just drag and drop if there are two clips you just put it in the middle and the transition is there it's that simple guys i'm just going to quickly go through all the things which iMovie can offer in the most simplest way so basically if you click on any video and you see this button small button over here that's called auto enhance so what it does it gives your video a better coloring a better it basically looks enhanced you guys can try it out for yourselves you'll you'll know the difference yes, since i'm a beginner so i made this common mistake which uh Obishay told me many of them make it so basically i shot few videos oh, in yeah. portrait and few videos in landscape and then later i realized that oh, i shouldn't have done that <laughs> so guys basically it's a very common mistake if you don't normally shoot videos it's just an instinct you know to shoot in portrait but if you're making a video for instagram youtube anything landscape is the way to go otherwise while editing it will look really weird because when you put portrait it'll have those two black sides which is super weird getting back to it other few options if you want to crop a video we have two options called crop to fill or can burn so basically crop to fill allows you to crop a video like this basically zoom in zoom out anything like that can burns is basically 
you know like those if you watch my vlogs if you watch the most likely vlogs there are some clips which you know zoom into the face that's basically what a ken burn is if you start there are two options called start and end so when it starts if you have to obviously put it as a full frame and when it ends you zoom into that guy's face or that girl's face probably his face right now so we zoom in and zooms into his face ken burn and apart from this, you know, like suppose for this video, I'm shooting it on selfie mode. So if you guys want to flip the video, you can do it. You can do it here too. There's something called clip filter. You click on it, you go to flipped and that's pretty much it. Also guys, if you start using iMovie, I'll just tell you guys a few shortcuts. If you're using it on the Mac, command P is for cutting a video. Command Z is for uh, undo. Command R, if you press it, it gives you the speed meter on the top. So according to that, you can make it slow, you can make it fast. So basically, those are a few simple shortcuts which can make your work a lot more faster in the long run. So guys, uh, for a beginner, basically, you guys can start with I iMovie because like later when you like properly learn everything, you can you guys can switch off to uh, this thing, Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere Pro is one of the best in the market right now. But that I would recommend that if you're making more like cinematic and movies and stuff it's like more, that. It's much more professional. It's much more professional. But for beginners, iMovie is the best to go so guys the last and final important part about making a video is obviously typography so basically if you want to add any text on your video so the common feature over here inside the app itself is this thing over here called titles so they have a lot of ways but i wouldn't really recommend this because this for subtitles or stuff like that it's okay but otherwise if you want the font you want if you want the font you like this is not the best way to go so what you do you go to google there is this uh, site called pickfont.com, but that's what I use. So you upload a plain black or plain white image into that, and then you write down whatever you want. You save the image, go back to iMovie, you import the image, you put it onto your workspace. It comes on the top, as you guys can see so over here. Like I told you, the image comes on top, then the video, and then the audio. Exactly, so in your workspace, that's how it looks. What you have to do, you have to click on it, you have to go crop it to wherever you want the image to fit, Click on this thing, put it on green green slash blue screen if you actually want the text to be inside the image, you, you know what I'm saying? So you do there and go to this erase button and click on it and there we go. So guys, that's pretty much it. That's It's that simple to edit a video on iMovie. I don't think it is this simple in other applications as I said before, but in iMovie, that's pretty much it. So now the last and final step to save your video, you click over here, go to file, and they will ask you all this stuff so you put a title your description and your format video and audio resolution it's either 1080p or 4k as to what you shot your video quality keep it high compress faster next and that is it you will get your final project guys <laughs> <laughs> so guys hope you found this video useful this is not normally the kind of videos we do here on this channel so if you're new make sure to stay tuned for regular vlogs you go back check out our previous vlogs because this is just a different kind of video this is what this is all we did today so i thought i'll teach you guys too how to use iMovie so guys if you found this video useful and if you feel like you know how to edit a video now that 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 would make me super 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 happy because we're shooting this right now at 12.35 a.m. just to put out a video tomorrow. Anyway guys, see you all tomorrow, 2.30 p.m. I'm ABX, this is Yash, and there was one silent man here I will just show you guys. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, he's just chilling there. <laughs> <laughs> there was so, a piece of over there, so we kept a mannequin there. So it's pretty chill. Hustling life, basically. See, I'm hustling right here and I'm getting too fucked. So, uh, yeah. See you all tomorrow, guys. Peace okay. out. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>